This is a different box. Should we see what's inside? Hi guys, Retro Trek Tech, whichever one you want to call me for this one, Ralph. Unboxing time. I, you know, you, you've all seen, everybody's been through all my videos, I'm sure you all have. I have a, a well, I don't. My partner has a nice collection of Mover Globes. <sighs> yeah, I, I keep buying them and it's for, for presents and stuff. Yes, we, we are missing three for the full, because I like to buy the one that looked realistic, even though I know some was mentioned before on a one with the, the Saturn. It's not buying that, it hasn't got the rings. Don't be such a twonk, it's fine. Saturn will not have rings eventually. The planet will either suck them in or they will be hit together and they will go in towards different directions and stuff, or they'll form moons. That's our part of the, the, the big solar system history. So Saturn will be perfectly fine as it is. It will be that like that for a while. It's like Jupiter. The big red spot will eventually die out or consume the entire planet. We don't know. Things happen in the future. Things happen in the past. We haven't seen them. So, right. By, by the way, this is the, one of the newest Mover Globes that they have. <sighs> New Horizons probe went to um, where no man, where nobody has gone before, unless you believe conspiracy theories about aliens and whatever else. And and they went out to the um, Kuiper Belt, the Oort Cloud. Well, it's going around the Kuiper Belt more than the Oort Cloud. But it took a pictures of few and discovered Pluto with Sharon, its moon. And this is the Mother Globe's version of it. We do always want the uh, 45, which is MG45 Pluto. Anyway, because they're all the same scale for each other. I'm, if I wanted Jupiter uh, four and a half inch size, which is probably that big, Pluto wouldn't be a speck of dust. So, but also we, we won't be able to see it anyway. So I'm being careful because I don't want to break this one. I have had problems with ones in the past anyway, which leak. They do. My only hint here is if it leaks, please, there's a fill hole on them. It's factory sealed, but there's a fill hole, please put that upwards. Most time it will leak from there. If it's too hot, the two domes that are stuck together with the globe inside it, the join will go and you will leak oil everywhere. You'll see oil, but my problems is with the hill, fill hole. You you can just see some of them. Some have been badly made, some of them aren't. But I'd recommend having that facing up at all times. So we have as standard Mother Globes owner's guide. It will tell you as much as I will tell you on this video of keep it clean, keep it out of direct sunlight, don't feed it after midnight, usual stuff, which is fine. Comes with a standard stand, which is a plastic, goes that way around. Three, these three prongs go in there. I'm not peeling it off because this is actually a present for a partner for a birthday very, very soon. So I'm actually unopening it for her at the moment, but once she doesn't come, We'll peel that off when it actually gets displayed in the house, so ignore that. But yeah, she, I'm sure she, she knows I'm doing this anyway. She'll get the idea once she figures out what it is and she opens it on her birthday. So what I need to do is get out some nice hard plastic polystyrene. Yeah, it's not going to just destroy the, the environment because it's going to be with this all the time. I'm not throwing this in the sea. So we have in here this lovely little globe, nicely bagged again. So we'll get rid of the box. It's a different box than last time. There's three different boxes about it. A lighter blue, a dark blue, and this green. It's quite weird. Yes, anybody out there will correct me on Pluto's not a planet. Yeah, I'm only collecting the planets. My day and era, Pluto was always a planet. And to be honest, a planet with a moon, with actually, it's it got five moons. Uh, that to me sounds like a planet. Yeah, call it a dwarf planet is, um, yeah, whatever. Right, I'll show you something on here before we get around to this. There's a line right across there. This is the seal mark between both of these hemispheres. On top of one of them, there it is, right there. That's the fill hole. You want to keep that up, as upright as humanly possible. Because if that ever leaks, it will come out of that hole. 
So there you go, there's Pluto. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Yes, okay, so we will have to do a little bit of a, uh, yeah, move the camera around eventually. These are, if you haven't seen them all the little before, these are ambient light, self-propelled, haha, <laughs> funny, it stopped. Self-propelled, just curiosities really, they don't do anything. Do not grab all of them and bowl them. Do not give them the kids to fit in the mouth. Granted, my hands are standard size. These will not fit in your mouth, but knowing kids, they will have a go. But these are just curiosities. They're nice, amazing ornaments. They do cost quite a bit of money. I do like to find a discount on these. So there are bargains to be had out there. This one from retail price was, I think I got an extra 10 pounds off, free delivery next day. Thank you very much. David Shuttle down, yes, they're a good shop and they sell, most of mine have been bought from them. So um, yeah. If, if, if anybody from Mover Club actually wants to send me my re the two that I'm missing, which is Mercury and Venus, if you're, uh, just, just a slight hint, maybe even David Shuttle himself with this big advertisement, Mercury, Venus, four and a half um, inch, please. I will do videos straight away as soon as I receive them. So we have Mercury here. You can't see much because these are on a gyroscope or at least self-leveling. And so I'm moving this around, but the globe inside isn't. So yeah, you can get a bit more of a, yeah, that's moving around that fill hole, which is on the outer dome. If you've seen one of these videos before, then ignore me, because this is just what they are. So what I need to do is be more careful and actually put the camera somewhere where you can see the side of this, because it is casually spinning around. And like my other videos before, quite a while ago, I use a torch on top just to give it a little bit extra light. As it stays where it is and it will eventually just charge up in there and then spin that way please that way go on that way here it goes see it's a well-trained globe so let me set the camera up so you can see the actual sides and right on here i think it's where or is it only here the one part is the actual when the pictures when they took it back was like a love heart which was really nice to see so yeah let's have a look at that from the side view and there we have a spinning globe Apologies for the reflections on here. Here we have a stopped globe as well. It is very tricky to, to get the light on these. If it was daylight in here, which it isn't because it's a garage, then it'd be a lot easier to film this. I'm trying not to be in my own light and show you as much detail as I can, but while it's going round, it's not actually playing ball at the moment. But these do, in normal, in the house, when you've got ambient light coming through from the sun, these will work perfectly fine. I'm just trying to get as much light. So I have a LED torch over here. It's just not fully doing it right, as well as the normal garage lights, unfortunately. But it is quite pretty as it is. There's a lot of detail on here, but this was a... The photo of this, when it went past, was actually just a, a flyby, just... a whizzing past it way faster than what we can actually achieve normally thousands and thousands of kilometers a second just to get an actual picture like this is quite astonishing if it would actually go around so what i gonna have to do is cheat for you on this one so spin that a little bit to get a little bit of momentum there you go so there's what they used to think that is the heart right there heart there it's quite strange how they got stuff like that. It's a very weird colour. It's a brownie, beigey, very darky sort of dirty snowball. Just trying to help a little bit there. It will eventually start spinning on its own. I wish it wasn't to do with too many of these reflections on. That's a bit better. See the camera lens, unfortunately, there as well. Spin around a little bit more. It's like a huge crater there as well coming into view right there. I mean, it is quite a nice, interesting picture of Pluto. We don't have many pictures of Pluto. I know that the, the, the New Horizons went whizzing straight past and yes, it did take quite a lot. But unfortunately, it... um. Yeah, it, it's gone beyond now. It's took photos of lots and lots of things and it's out towards the um, out towards the belts there. The Kuiper belt. Find other interesting things as the heart comes into view again. There we go. Now I say apologies again for, for doing that. It, it, it is, it, these are 
uh, they need certain conditions. A cold, damp garage in the middle of winter does not help these at all. But inside the house, where it's, it's constant temperature, these are absolutely perfect. So there we go, that's a bit better. So there's a lot of detail work on this. Hell of a lot of detail. I mean, there's a full mo model there with all as many lighting as, a, as I can possibly put on there. So I don't really want to do that. So there he goes. We'll eventually start turning and get enough power in there. I really do actually like this. Apart from all the glows, if I turn off everything in here, and I mean absolutely everything in here, you can't see it. So, do as little as possible just to get as good a light as I can and try and block that light out, give you a bit better. Now that's as good as I can get you, but it might need to be brightened up in the video edit. So, there you go. There you go, as the heart goes by. I mean, these are an absolute magical piece of, of ornament that the, these guys make at Mover. Again, Mover, please send me a Venus and Mercury. Or David Shuttle. For the UK, they're probably the best ones around here. Anyway, there's a few other shops as well. There's one not far from me who's always got stuff out of stock, but I won't really mention his name anyway, so that's fine. I'm not here to um, <laughs> incinerate anything. There's this mass planes there. I mean, this is, I think uh, Pluto is a lot smaller than the moon. But still, here she goes. Look at that. Less light works perfect. <laughs> But the, the, the amount of detail and, and stuff on there, I mean, a lot of it is just dirt, dust, probably carbon deposits, rust, iron, whatever, I don't know, stuff that's just dropped down there from the rest of the solar system, snow, ice. It's doubtful there's actually um, life on there. Incredibly doubtful. But the way things go lately, you'd never know. What is that there? Was that the, the infamous black spot that they keep having on every single Mulvard Lobe? Yeah. It just seems a little bit weird how they keep having black spots on them. Uh, I think Uranus and, and Neptune have them as well. Hmm. That's actually, actually a black spot there. Might be a recent asteroid collision. I don't know. So there you go. That's the um, Pluto Mulvard Lobe. 4.5 uh, inch. They do 6 and they do... I think it's... Is it 7.5 or 9? I think they're 9 inch. They are quite expensive where this is about 165 pound the um, larger ones are knocking on i think is it 500 pound probably in that works out about 600 dollars or euros sort of thing they are expensive they are for me i think they're worth it if you can pay for them if you can afford them they are worth it and i we did an amazing talking point whenever you you've got people around i just nicely sat spinning away casually in the background. So there we go, all done. Mover globe, Pluto. It, 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 like I say, it, it, these are expensive little trinkets and things, and there are better things to spend your money on, but in a collection like this, they do all sorts of things. There's like, I think they're more in the American store where you've got like um, baseballs, basketballs, things that don't actually I prefer having the actual planets themselves and I do prefer having the ones that look realistic. That's why I got the Earth with the clouds. Yeah, there is an Earth that has no clouds, no nothing, it's just land mass everywhere. But I prefer the one with the clouds because if you're actually up there looking down, that's what you'd see. Same as this, if you're flying past it, looking down, this is what you'd see. So I prefer these more than... It's like these ones where you've got the, the oldie sort of maps, which are fascinating, the old maps to look at. But I don't prefer these to look at than I do something that's actually real. So that was an old map. Well, okay, fine. I do like old maps. I have a few myself. But I do prefer seeing a proper globe. So with that in mind, thank you for watching. I will just move this out of the way a little bit. If you're from Mover, please send me a Mercury and a Venus. These were from David Shuttle in the UK. 
I know it's a cheap plug. It's worth a, it's worth a go. These are absolutely brilliant. I, I've not had a. I have had the problem with the earth, but managed to get it sorted out as best I can. These are pretty good, but if you want to pay out the money for it, so be it. But I'm over globe. Yeah, please be in touch. I've, I've been talk, talk to you before anyway. They're absolutely, you're absolutely brilliant to speak to. Get in touch if you'd like to send me one. Pretty please. Like and subscribe the video. I'll see you in a new one. Help out on Patreon. Just follow me on social media and all that garbage. Yeah. And I'll just say bye for now.